Hi everyone, um, sorry, <laughs> this isn't going to be the best video, but I wanted to let everybody know I dyed my hair. Well, my sister dyed it for me. I just pulled out the blonde, this is my natural hair, the blonde, and I just pulled that out before she dyed it. And then I had her dye the tips of it. Anyway, that's not what this is about. I'm sorry my camera is sideways, but I'm using my iPhone right now. And um, it's not the greatest, but it's way better than my laptop. So, but I wanted to do a review today on my um, Mag P3. It's by Smock. And it, the tank on it, I can't even get it off. So I got the kit and it comes with the kit. Um, it says TFV um, 16 designed by Smock. Uh oh, that's gonna focus. But a minute on that. So first of all, this is what the back looks like. I don't know if that's going to focus. Maybe not. When I do this, it kind of goes. Anyway, it's on 120 watts. And, um, you slide it over to unlock and turn the, um, turn the water up and down. And then click it. I don't have an atomizer on it, but it locks it. Now, if I turn this off, I also have a password on it, so if anybody tries to steal it, they can't use it. Um, it's also waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof. And you just push the button, the batteries come out, and this, oops, <laughs> this is actually, you gotta push pretty hard to get it to snap in. And I'll show you the password here in a minute. They come in all different kinds of colors. Here's where you type in the password. And that unlocks it so you can vape it. And there's a lot of vapor production, even if it's turned down. Like I can do it on, I'll go 95 watts. That is still a massive amount of vapor production. 100 watts. And you, instead of changing the wattage and it turns up by fives or whatever, it turns up by ones. So you don't have to worry about it. And you can also hold it down and it will automatically go up. The flavor on this is awesome. Another thing I want to mention is there's a good, like this is nice and tight airflow, so it's not going to just change unless you want it to. It is a little bit noisier when it's closed all the way. I'm going to need to turn it, um, turn it up, fill it in a minute. I'm almost out and it doesn't look like it, but I am. And I'm vaping on sour green apple. Um, since it's waterproof, it does have a seal ring in here so that water can't get in there. Dust, nothing. There's also one right here where you charge it. And so far I've dropped it about like five times and it has not broke or anything. So that's good. 
Um, now the drip tip I wish was different. I do, but don't. I don't because it's good. It stays on. It hasn't broke. Nothing. Um, it's just like a cap that goes on. And it's nice and snug. But I don't like it that way. Because I cannot put regular drip tips in there. Um, I have to go out and buy another one. Just like this, hopefully. Or not just like it, but different color, but the same, if that makes sense. Um, the fill hole is actually pretty big. And it snaps in really good, too. Um, one time it did leak on me. But that's because it was left sideways. My daughter knocked it down. She's not allowed to be around vapes. It wasn't supposed to be in her, like, reach. But my brother was using it and left it in her reach. And she knocked it over. Which caused it to leak because the button got pushed just a little bit. Which made, like, that much... Where is it at? <laughs> that much of a gap. And that caused it to leak. But, um... I don't have too much to go on to this other than this is a great vape and I recommend it to everybody of age. I am currently almost 20 years old in December, which is very soon. So stay of age. Now I know the, the law turned up to 21, but I, I've had this vape for a little while and um, I can say that was before the law and everything. So I don't know if I'll get in trouble. I haven't gotten in trouble yet. I don't go into vape stores. I order everything online. So. But. <clears throat> I've also been vaping and smoke Or. Vaping and smoking since I was like 17. Um. Now it's not a good thing. I'm not promoting everybody to do that. Don't do it. Um. It's very bad. I just watched a video with two kids that were vaping. And they looked about like. Eight or nine. Don't do it. Um. It's not fun. It's not cool. Yeah, it's just not okay. So, I do want to say this is a really good mod, a really good vape. Um, it's very recommended. Right now, I have the, I think it's, no, dual coil. And this goes up to 120 watts. But says it can go to 160. Which I did not know that until now. So, I mean, I can try that. I just had it at 120 because our other vape goes to 120 and doesn't turn up from there. I guess I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, um, I can try it like that now. The flavor is still really good. No matter what wattage you turn it up to, it's still really good. And when you, I found out when you refill your tank... For some reason, it makes the juice, or well, yeah, the juice tastes so much better when you vape it. I don't know why, but it does. But, thank you guys for watching, and I look, I look horrible, but at least my hair looks good. <laughs> Have a good day. Don't smoke. Keep vaping.